right, before we get started, I think what we're going to do is check the extractor tension. And what I've done is all, I, all I've done is put the uh, extractor back in and then put the, uh, the little plate that contains it in the firing pin back in there. I'm going to take a live 230 grain standard ball ammo cartridge, push it down in there, let the extractor capture it. And it's not quite as tight because it's tilting a little bit. You can see that. But it's tight enough that you can wiggle it side to side and it won't fall out. It should hold it straight. Okay, so we really need to tension it a little more. And I'll show you guys how to do that. Right quick, pull that baby out of the way. And the Series 80, getting that extractor out of there with that damn plunger in there, it is a freaking nightmare. All right, you take your frame or your uh, slide like that, and you'll insert it up to that little knuckle, like so, okay? And you bear it, well, well, before I get, before I even do that, I wanted to have a baseline. And all you got to do is get you a piece of paper, lay your extractor down on its side so that the claw is one way or the other. Take your ink pen and just trace it. And this gives you your baseline so you can tell how much you've bent it. All right, and we'll put original. And we just barely, and when I say barely, I mean barely want to bend it. Well, I'll leave that under there. You put it into its tunnel, right up to that knuckle, and just barely bend on it. This thing is stout. You want to make sure it's square in there and just barely bend it. Let's see if we even made any a dent in this damn thing. I don't think we did. I'm scared I'm gonna bend it too damn much. And I got the proper tool. I'm just trying to show you guys how to do it without going haywire on me. Don't wanna do it too damn much because uh, I don't have another Series 80 extractor. That dude is some kind of stiff, I'm here to tell you. It looks to me like I ain't moved the damn muscle. <clears throat> you got to be damn careful you break it. I don't think it's bent one single bit. Boy, that dude is stout as hell. The old coat is the only other one I've bent and uh, it bent pretty easy but it's a hundred freaking years old and it was rusty as I'll get out All right, we're gonna stick it in where that knuckle is inside there right inside there where it's flat I think that's how they maybe that's how they did it and you can see it's flexing a little bit I still don't think I bent it. It is some kind of style. It is still straight as a freaking arrow. Mm -hmm. I don't think I did no nothing with it. Let's put it in and see, shall we? All right, need to line that baby up. Where did our base plate get off to? All right, got it in there. 
봐요. There we go. Well, the base of it flat. Apparently we did. Because it's holding it a little tighter. Alright. So that's all you got to do. You just got to be damn careful. You can't go gor gorilla crazy trying to bend it. Now, let us try out our new freaking tool. All right, let's try out the new gauge now. We got a Wheeler um, trigger pull gauge. I bought this at the Outpost Armory the other day, the Barrett Firearms store. It will go from, <clears throat> excuse me, eight ounces to eight pounds. So let's hope it works. And the Wigand, Wigan, yeah, Wigand Machine and Design, Jack Wigand's Extractor Tool, and the gauges that go with it. Let me zoom in on that, I guess. All right, and that's what the Extractor Tool looks like. <clears throat> and the two gauges, all right. Let me see, this one's 45 and 10 millimeter, and I would imagine 40 cal. So let me set the rest of this stuff out of the way. And you'll take this, and you'll shove it down in there, and you want the firing pin hole lined up with it. Then you want to stand it up, take your trigger pull gauge, all right. I had to make me get a little hook here. Let's hope it doesn't make it twist. And it's reset zero. All right, it's two ounce increments is what it is. So let's see. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 ounces. So it's between, yes, between 20 and 21 ounces. So we need to... A touch more bend so we're very close but we need a touch more bend but let us do it again to make sure let me flip it around it's completely seated and square reset this zero on the scale and gently pull and it broke 16 18 20 about 22 pounds or 22 ounces we're looking we're wanting it to be 25 to 28 16 18 20 22 about 22 ounces again so it needs to be just a touch more so we will pull it out i'm find my darn tool here and uh, go from there oh guarantee that ain't it that damn thing is not it A while ago, I ran it all the way down, and it was way too much, and I bent it too far the other way. I don't just don't know if that's it or not, because it just slid right the hell in there. Hurt as you please. See if it's got any resistance. Yeah, do. But is it enough? 
Sometimes being careful can't get a damn thing accomplished. Let me see. 16. 18, 20, 22, 24. So we are out short of where we're needing to be. Let's try. We get three, three of them in that dram range, brother. We leaving it the hell alone. Reset the gauge. Cause that's just going to have to be. That's a hell of a lot better than it was, I think. Yeah, that's 25 to 26. Like I say, we get it in there within a, an ounce or two, one way or the other, we leaving it the hell on. <clears throat> this damn thing's a nightmare. Yep, same thing. That's it, we're leaving it the hell alone. Now, let's take a live cartridge. I guess it's going to be easier to stick it in like this. Up and down it wiggles just a touch. Damn it. That's it right here. Right here. Alright. We're leaving it the hell alone. That's good enough. Good enough. So the little tensioner works. Next I'll work on Fester's little short barrel of some gun. All right, all right. Let's see what we can do with this down gun thing. Maybe I should put it in the bottom notch. What do you think? Oh yeah, yeah, for something that thin, heck yeah. Yeah, that damn thing broke it. Let's see, 10. About 12 ounces. That is about way too light. She's on video. Have you been videoing all this time? Just a minute or so right now. <clears throat> Come on, baby. There we go. By golly, Kim, killing the place. Let me see. Where's our little tool? It tears it where it...
Now, let me see you again. Set our gauge. Eight, seventeen or eighteen ounces. Try it one more time. Lined up on the firing pin hole. So we need to just touch it a touch more. What you looking for, baby doll? It is under that cabinet over there where you're working at. just on the other the second screw here to get it right i'm learning with it though you put that dude in there and you line it up with the firing pin hole take your trigger gauge we'll see what your trigger pull is while we're at it try to pull straight up it breaks at 30 ounces 20 25 to 30 ounces is what they're calling for. So that should do it. All right. 